Good morning, kids. Welcome to Mathematics Year 2 with me, Teacher Audrey. Today, our lesson is still in the unit numbers up to 1000. We are going to take a look at two topics. First one is number value. Next one is place and digit value. Are you ready to learn? Let's take a look at the content standards for today's lesson. 1.1.2 Determine number value up to 1000. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to show a quantity for numbers given. For example, if I say 2, you can bring two things or you can show things with two inside. You'll be able to match group of objects with number. Another content standard is 1.4.1. State the place value and digit value for any numbers given. Place value and digit value will be something new that you'll learn today. Are you excited? Let's learn! Let's take a look of this picture. What is the old man selling? Kuei. Do you like to eat kuei? It looks like what kuei? Looks like kuei bao lu, right? The little boy say, one packet contains 10 kuei. Four packets contain 40 kuei. Okay, can we count how many kueis is the old man selling? One packet is 10. There are 10 in one packet. How about the big top of container? Hmm, how many is inside? Maybe there are a hundred? Let's assume there are a hundred inside. Okay, so for the big top or the container is 100 and for the packet, is 10. Can we count how many quays are there on the table? One, two, three, four, five. There are five big top of Quiz. Okay, five big ones. How about the packet? One, two, three, four. So there are four packets. Five of one hundred and four of tens. Do you still remember this table? Ones, tens, hundreds. Okay, so how many hundreds we have? We have five. So we write five in the hundreds. Okay, how about the tens? Four. Any ones? Mm, no ones. So it's five hundred and forty. Five hundred and forty what? Quays.
Let's try another example. Okay, we have the quiz here, but now in different quantity. Uh, bilangan tidak sama dengan tadi. Okay, so the first thing we should do, we should draw the table, jadual, okay, with the hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, how many hundreds are there? Count. One, two, three. So we write three in the hundreds column. How about tens? Only one. So we write one in the tens column. Any ones? No, there are no ones. So the answer is 310. Let us look at another example. Wow, there are so many quiz now. Okay, first thing is Draw the table. Hundreds, tens, ones. Let's count how many hundreds. There are six. How about the what tens? Three. Any ones? No. So, the answer is 630. Ooh, what does this little girl has? Marbles. Marbles. Yalah, guli. Pernah main dengan guli? Okay. Marbles, so we need to count how many marbles are there. How many fifties are there? There are three fifties. So we add fifty plus fifty plus fifty. How much? Is that it's hundred and fifty? How many tens are there? Only two. So ten plus ten is twenty. Can we use the table? Boleh tak? Kita guna jadual, okay? Yang jadual yang uh, cegu sudah guna tadi, yang warna merah, hijau dan kuning tu, tidak boleh. No, we can't use that table because we don't have hundreds. So, what should we do? How do we know what is the total number of marbles? We sum it all up together. Tambah semuanya, okay? Tambah keseluruhan. Okay, so we get 150 plus 20. How much? Let us count from the number on the right. Zero plus zero is Zero. Five plus two. Seven. One. One. Okay. So the answer is one hundred and seventy. Is this familiar to you? Nampak macam pernah tengok kan? 
Okay, you have learned this sudah belajar ini di tahun 1, year 1. Okay, primary 1, you have learned this. Okay, this one is block of hundreds. This one, block of tens. And this one, last one is block of ones. Okay, the purple one has a lot. So, there are 100 squares, okay, 100 cubes in there. Whereas for the tens, there are 10 and the ones only one. Let's take a look at this example. Remember, I've just told you we have just revised. These are blocks. So the purples are blocks of hundreds. The orange one, blocks of tens. How about the green ones? Blocks of ones. Okay, let's prepare the table again with the hundred, tens, and ones. Let us count how many blocks of hundred. One, two, three. So you write three in the hundreds column. How about tens? One, two. So you write two. How about ones? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you write six in the ones column. You get three to six, which is three hundred and twenty six. Next example, wow, these are a lot more blocks here. Okay, as usual, purples are blocks of hundreds. Orange ones are blocks of tens. The green ones are blocks of ones. Prepare the table. Let's, let's count the hundreds. One, two, three, four, five. So you write five in the hundreds column. Tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. There are eight tens, so you write eight in the tens column. Ones, the ones, how many are there? Mm, there are three, so you write three in the ones column. You get five at three, which is five hundred and eighty. Three. Besides using blocks to represent numbers, selain menggunakan blok untuk mewakili nombor, we can also use abacus. Do you know what is an abacus? This is an abacus, okay? The Chinese people like to use this to count. Because last time, zaman dulu-dulu, there are no calculators. Tak ada calculator. So, they use abacus to count. Now, there are many other toys or things that looks like abacus. 
Have you ever played with this before? Okay, this one looks like abacus as well. Let's take a look at this abacus. I've leveled them with H T O. What's the meaning of H? Hundreds. T Tens. O Ones. Okay. So the first thing we should do is to draw the table. Okay. And let us count the beads in the abacus. We count the hundreds column first, okay? The hundreds bar first. Okay, for hundreds we have one, two, three, four. So we write four in the hundreds. Okay, next one, the tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we write seven in the tens column. Next one, ones. How many ones? One, two, three. So we have, we have three ones. The number is 473, which is 473. We look at the next example of abacus. Okay. For hundreds. Oops. Okay. We need to draw the table. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Let's count for the hundreds. How many? One, two. So we write two in the hundreds column. Next one, we move on to tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six tens, so we write six in the tens columns. Last one, ones. How many ones? One, two, three, four, five. There are five ones. The number is two, six, five, which is two hundred and sixty. Five. One more example. Okay, first thing, table. Okay, then let us count the hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we write six in the hundreds. Tens. One, two, three, four. There are four tens. We write four in the tens column. Next one is ones. One, two, only two. So the number is Six, four, two. Okay. It's six hundred and forty two. We are done with number value. Now we are going to look at plus value and digit value. Let's take a look at this picture. The boy said, One, four, and two are the numbers found in 142. The girl said, What is the 
place value of 1, 4, and 2. Okay, we have actually learned about place value. Place value is hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, you have been using it up until now. Okay, we look at the picture. 142 is one block of hundreds, four blocks of tens, and two blocks of ones. So the place value of one is hundreds. The place value of four is tens. And the place value of two is ones. It's very easy. We just build the table and put the number into the table. And you can immediately recognize the place value. Let's do some exercise. Stat the value of 5, 3, and 4 in 534. Okay, kita kena menyatakan nilai tempat bagi nombor 5, 3, dan 4 di dalam 534. Okay, first thing you do is to draw the table. Then you put 5 in hundreds, 3 in tens, and 4 in one. The place value of 5 is hundreds. The place value of 3 is tens. And the place value of 4 is ones. Easy, right? So, once you have the number, you make the table, put the numbers in, then you can see on top, okay, what is the place value. Next question, set the value of 9, 0, and 2 in 902. Number one is to draw the table. Okay, then you write nine in hundreds, zero in tens, and two in ones. The place value of nine is hundreds. The place value of zero is tens. And the place value of 2 is 1. Stat the value of 3 in 138. First thing we should do is to draw the table and put the numbers into the table. Okay, then they only want the value of 3. So 1 and 8, you don't need to write. So 3 is in tens. The place value of 3 is tens. Next question. State the value of 6 in 746. First thing first, the table. And you write the numbers in. They only want the value of 6. So this is 6. 6 is in the place value of 1s. So the place value of 6 is 1s. Digit value. Okay, digit means number. Digit and number. 
like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. Okay, those are digits. We look at this picture. There are digits 5, 7, and 9 in 579. 5 of hundreds, 7 of tens, and 9 of ones. Okay, so 579 is 500, 7 tens, 9 one. Okay, it's like 500, okay, 500, zero, zero. okay, plus 7 ten is 7 zero, plus 9, cause 9 ones, only 9, no zero. Tens has one zero, and hundreds has two zeros. So, the digit value of 5 is 500. The digit value of 7 is 70. And the digit value of 9 is 9. Do you get it so far about digit value? Let's try a few more examples. First example, what is the digit value of 8, 3, and 5 in 835? First thing you gotta do, the table. Okay, you put 8 in the hundreds column, 3 in the tens, and 5 in ones. So it's very clear, right? The digit value of 8 is 800. The digit value of 3 is 30. And the digit value of 5 is 5. Always remember that the place value of hundreds comes from 100. 100 has two zeros. So if there are eight of hundreds, is eight zero zero. For tens, tens come from one zero. One zero is ten. Sepulo, sepulo ialah satu dengan kosong. So if there are three tens, means it's thirty. As for ones, one don't have any zero. So if there's five ones, means that's five. Next example. What is the digit value of five, one, and nine in five hundred and nineteen? Okay, we draw up the table again and put the numbers in. We have 5 of hundreds, so it's 500. So, the digit value of 5 is 500. For 1, is in the place value of tens. So, 1 tens means 10. The digit value of 1 is 10. 9 in 1, so the digit value of 9 is just 9. Next example, what is the digit value of 3 in 2, 3, 7 or 237? So we draw up the table again and put the numbers in. We look at digit value of 3. 3 is in tens. So, 3 tens. 3 set 10. So, the answer is 
the digit value of 3 is 30. Next example, what is the digit value of 0 in 901? Drop the table, put the numbers in, and look for 0. Okay, the 0 is in tens, but 0 tak ada kosong. So, the digit value of 0 is 0. Let's make it a little bit harder. Name the place value. Okay, the place value are hundreds, tens, and ones. And digit value of 3, 0, and 4 in 304. Number 1, table. Number 2, write the numbers in. So, digit 3 is in hundreds place and the value is 300. Digit 0 is in tens place and the value is 0 because there's nothing there. Digit 4 is in 1's place and the value is 4. Second, name the place value and digit value of 7, 4 and 8 in 748. So, first one, table, then we write 7, 4, 8 into it. We can see it clearly, right? Digit 7 is in hundreds place and the value is 700. Remember, hundreds is 100. So, 7 of 100 is 700. Digit 4 is in tens place and the value is 40. Because 10 is multiples of 10. Okay, tens is 10, 10, 10, Okay, digit 8 is in ones place and the value is 8. Recap. This block is blocks of 100. This one, blocks of 10s. And this one is blocks of one. You need to remember this. And as for digit value and also place value, you need to remember about the table. It will help you get the values easier. Okay, 100 is 100 and tens of 10. Once only got one. No zero. Don't need to add zero behind. So the exercise for today is complete the Google form in the Google Classroom given. That's all for today, class. I hope you have understand and can find the number value the place value and the digit value of numbers from 1 up to 999. Thank you class. See you again soon. Bye.